I could never see tomorrow. No one, no one ever told me about the sorrow. And how can you mend a broken heart? Uh, uh, how can a loser ever win? Uh, baby, how can you stop that old sun from shining? And what makes the world Go right. All right, you guys, good morning. Good afternoon. You know, we're trying to let a little time pass here. How y'all doing today? Um, Getting ready for the weekend, gearing yourself up. It is a beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. All is well. Um, I want to know if any of y'all ever tried these right here. They got um, these oven pot, one pot meals, 15, 20 uh, minute recipes, you know, like you can see the things like uh, asparagus, um, you know, uh, I see fish. Wow, what would that, I think that's fish. I don't eat any. Red meat, um, the tacos. I don't know. America's number one, uh, um, meal kit. If any of y'all ever tried that out there, they they got a little card that looks sort of like this. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. America's number one meal kit. Anybody ever tried anything uh, from there? Let me know. I'm always curious. Um, so what's going on, family? How y'all doing today? I thought a lot of y'all might find this uh, article pretty interesting. Um, how most of us know that Donald Trump is bankrupt. Um, well, compared to maybe you or me, um, he's he's rich, but a, according to how he's elevated and fabricated his. Uh, wealth and finance that's why he's going to court now um for his lies you would think that um unless you want to go and learn how to really beat the game you wouldn't fuck with donald trump because you already know he's trying to he gonna tell you right wrong from the jump now there's a lot of us that are still fascinated with donald trump uh a lot of People that look like me in particular. I think personally, and this is what is wrong with, right, uh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion with the planet today, is we'll do any damn thing. You know, it used to be a time when people cared about what they did. They had some kind of moral compass, you know, and it wasn't just about getting a bag. Um. And if you did, let's say if you did sell, I mean, it, it. I'm not saying that people were always perfect. So I don't want to give that impression that that's what I'm trying to say here. But I didn't live through a lot of generations. And it seems like to me, just, you know, it just seems to be a little different. Like, in other words, it seems like people don't have no souls, no uh, integrity. Is that what the word I'm looking for, maybe? Well, because personally, it would be hard for me. Um, and it would be hard, very difficult for me to go and sit among somebody that has created a whole dynamic on the planet where now, you know, I'm not saying he started it. Okay. But 
a person that will use a whole campaign and find pleasure in people being chaotic. Because that's a lot of energy that you got to expend a whole a bunch of chaos. Unless you're a fighter and you train, and that's just physical, right? That's physical. But mentally, to be aggravated, to be arguing, to be having a disagreement every single day with somebody or to elevate their hatred, to me, is not a good character. Okay? So... I wouldn't like Donald Trump as a mentor for how to be president, nor would I like Donald Trump as a business partner to teach me about wealth because I know he's nothing but a crook. And he, he, you know, his father left him the fortune that he had and he squandered that off and then he got up. So it's the really the name. So I don't think that I would want to take too much advice for somebody like him. I'd be better off taking it from, um, Boom. Or what's the other boy's name? Um, I don't know. Not as a big new. Who am I talking about? The, the the one that uh 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 got it to come to me. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Jay Z sat down with him. Michael Jordan wants. I mean, um, LeBron James. I mean, he'd be better off talking to somebody like that. So this guy. Has a meeting. How about I just give y'all the article? Because I don't want to make it sound like I'm rambling on. You know, I can't hardly remember nothing. Okay. R&B singer posed for a photo with the former president underneath a picture of his meeting with the North Korean leader. Ray J, that's Brandy's little brother, was one of former President Donald Trump's latest visitors at his Mar-a-Lago club. The 41-year-old singer and the 75-year-old former president were both all smiles in the photo as they stood alongside pictures of Trump, including a huge photo of him with North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, 38, um, when they took it in 2018. The pair were meeting to discuss business opportunities, according to page six. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, Ray J was on the internet going live, crying, talking about the white boy had stole his shit from him. And he knows racism and the way they're talking to him. And uh, they're trying to steal his ideas. And, you know, you know, he got some other company. You on the internet asking us. What should you do about these white people that you didn't got yourself involved in, I guess, with your Raycon? Okay. Somehow, I know you want to, I mean, hey, ain't nothing wrong with wanting to be in business and being in business. Why didn't you go talk to Magic Johnson? Why didn't you go talk to, you couldn't get a, a, a seat with Michael Jordan? You wanted to go to go talk with Donald Trump? Both Ray J and Trump wore a blue suits without ties. Trump's outfit was darker shade of navy, while Ray's was a lighter blue. Pastor Daryl Scott also shared a photo with a few others uh, in it from the meeting. He mentioned that the group had met to chat about technology, business, and black empowerment. The sexy Can I Singer did a comment on the ex-president's political career, but instead he pointed towards the business career. I've always admired and respected his business acrobat. Now, Ray continued um, to discuss the importance of creating jobs and preparing people for careers. Our conversation was about job creation, encouraging small business development, and how information technology plays an important role in the future of our economy. We also um, agree how important an educated workforce is, as well as a critical need for development of young people. I'm ready to get started now. Ray isn't the only musician with connections to the former president. Kanye West, his other son, who recently recounted meeting with Ray J to get a laptop that the singer had a sex tape on with his wife, Kim, was quoted as a supporter of Trump. 
and he seemed to have kept some of his connections because Ye was seen uh, getting dinner with Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Other than meeting with Trump, Ray J has had a busy past few months. Him and his wife uh, of five years, Princess Love, filed for divorce. Uh, Princess, yeah, Princess Love filed for divorce in October 2021 amid the singer's battle with pneumonia. While divorce is undoubtedly a, a difficult time, the exes seem to be getting along well for the sake of their two kids. Ray J and Princess have a re really great co-parenting relationship, according to somebody. Despite the ups and downs they've gone through while they were still together. A source close to the pair revealed to Hollywood earlier. A source. A source. A source. A source. A source. Now, look, I don't get into these Hollywood stories, and I don't want to get in here. This is actually, in my opinion, a mental health story. Some of y'all might think I'm far-reaching. But I'm not. Um, self hatred is 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 a mother is a mother. And all I can think about when I see a lot of us is that all all that comes to my mind is that line from um, Willie Lynch when he said, "Don't even worry about them." Because if you implement all this stuff I'm getting ready to give you on these natives, they'll be perpetually sick. They'll be perpetually mentally locked out of everything for the rest of their life. Hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Of all the people Ray J could have a, a talk with, he wants to talk with Donald Trump. Um, I don't give a damn how many meetings he's, he, uh, see, there's no loyalty amongst us at all. And I know that probably it's because we come from different tribes and different, you know, mores and different things like that. I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm opening myself up for y'all to think I'm tripping here. However, there's no way in the hell. And I hope nobody tells me nothing about Donald Trump's, uh, 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 signed into law <laughs> the prison reform please don't tell me that when y'all already know oh, okay because I got something for that too whenever you want to talk about that we can talk about Obama's record okay we can start talking about who already changed the dynamics from powder to hard you know to, to, to ready rock nobody wants to talk about that and the continuum of what uh, um, uh, um, Donald Trump did. So now y'all are so brainwashed, you, you're going to be let, letting him be um, taken away as America's president that saw prison reform. And I'm not going for that. So before you get down in the comment section with that type of shit, I will correct you. Otherwise, y'all think that's a good look? I mean, I don't know. That's just my opinion. It's really kind of crazy. But what do y'all think about Ray J meeting with Donald Trump in Mar-a-Lago under a huge photo of Kim Jong-un who said that he got, he got it in for America and he already called Donald Trump a rocket man, I mean a fool. I really want to know what y'all think, okay? Tell me below and I'll see y'all in the next video.